Hey guys, Joe here. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another Best Buy trip. We're going to take a look at TV prices just before Black Friday. So this is it. This is the moment we are all waiting for if you're looking to buy a brand new TV. All right, so let's get right into this video, guys. Let's do this. All right, so I'm going to start with Samsung. Now, when you enter the store, you will find lots of Samsung TVs on sale, but I don't usually review them because they lack on many features like white color gamut or local dimming or peak brightness, which is necessary for a good HDR. They also lack on gaming features like VRR or 4K 120 Hz. So if you don't care about picture quality or performance and all you want is just a big size TV for the lowest price possible, you will find lots of options right now. I'm going to focus more on mid-tier and top-tier TVs. So here we have the Q70A. Now this is an entry-level TV from Samsung that has HDMI 2.1 features like VRR or 4K 120Hz support, a good response time and a decent HDR. It is an edgy TV, so it doesn't have local dimming, but it has great contrast. Colors also look great thanks to the white color gamut and quantum dot technology. So if you're looking for a decent TV for your Xbox Series X or PlayStation 5 under $1,000, this is a great choice. Now the 55 inch model sells for $850, the 65 inch sells for $1,000. There's also a 75 inch for $1,500 and a massive 85 inch for $2,000. Now one thing to keep in mind is that Samsung TVs only have one HDMI 2.1 port. So if you have one next-gen console, you are fine. But if you have both consoles, then you either need a splitter or switch between consoles. All right, so now let's step it up a notch and move on to the higher tier. Now, first we have the Samsung QN85A, which is also known as Neo. Now, I did get a chance to review this TV when it was released back a few months ago. And honestly, I had a great experience with it. The QN models from Samsung feature mini LEDs, which provide higher levels of peak brightness and dimming zones for better HDR performance and contrast. Now, my first impression on this TV was the brightness. It was very bright. Colors look fantastic and same with HDR. So if you want a great experience with your next gen consoles, this is a solid choice. No, my only complaint was the viewing angles. Now, even though this TV has ADS panel, which is similar to an IPS, the viewing angles are not that good. Back then, I paid around $1,600 for the 55-inch model, and I predicted that on Black Friday, the price will drop to $1,100, and sure thing, you can buy the 55-inch for $1,100 or the 65-inch for $1,500. Now let's move on to the next top tier from Samsung and this is the QN90A. Now by this time, you probably have seen a ton of videos on YouTube about this TV and most of it is positive feedback and that is because this TV is truly impressive. Now similar to the QN85A, this TV also has mini LED with quantum dot, full array with local dimming so you can expect an amazing picture. Now the biggest difference, now this TV comes with a BA panel, so it's a slightly better viewing angles than the QN85A. The 55 inch model sells for $1,300, and for the $300 more, you can buy the 65 inch. Honestly, I think this is an excellent deal. Samsung TVs are known for their beautiful and bright picture, great gaming features like FreeSync, variable refresh rate, 4K 120Hz support, now, the only negative I see is the lack of Dolby Vision. They do have their own version of Dynamic HDR, which is HDR10+, but it is not as popular as Dolby Vision. Other than that, I think this is a solid deal from Samsung. Now, moving on, another brand that has been doing an excellent job with their quality is Hisense. Now, I had the pleasure of reviewing the U7G and the UAG, and they are very impressive. Now, they both have HDMI 2.1 features like FreeSync Premium, Variable Refresh Rate, 4K 120Hz support, HDR, Dolby Vision, EARC, Dolby Atmos. I mean, these TVs are great for gaming and movies, and what makes it even better is their prices. You can buy the 65-inch UAG for $1,100, 
or the U7G for $1,000. Now, if you want to go a little bit bigger, there's a 75 inch version of the U7G for $1,200. Or maybe you want just a 55 inch, which sells for 700 bucks. Now, if you don't care about those gaming features, there's also the U6G option. The 55 inch sells for $500 and the 65 inch sells for 700. Now, honestly, these are great TVs with affordable prices. They compete directly with TCL, which is another great choice. But unfortunately, I didn't see any TCL here on the floor. All right, so moving on here at Best Buy, let's check out Sony. Now, I personally feel that Sony TVs have great picture quality on their OLED models, but their LED LCD TVs, to me, they're not the best choice for the money they ask. Now, I had the pleasure to work with the X95J, which is one of the top tier models this year. And yes, the picture is nice, beautiful colors and contrast, but there was a noticeable blooming and black levels were not the best I've seen. Especially if you use subtitles on movies, you can see blooming around the letters. Now, another thing that bothers me is that Sony claims that this TV is the perfect choice for PlayStation 5. Well, I connected my PS5 and I had sound issues. Sound wouldn't work if I enhanced the HDMI port, which is needed for HDR gaming. Now, I had the same problem with the X900H from last year, so this is not a new issue. Another feature missing is VRR or FreeSync for smoother gameplay. There is also no 1440p resolution support just in case if you want to use it as a PC monitor. So why would you spend $2,100 for a TV that has problems out of the box and missing features? Now, here we have the X90J at the bottom and the X95J on top. And honestly, I, I still think the X90J looks a little bit better. I mean, yes, I still see lots of blooming in dark scenes and colors look a little bit better, but look at those prices. The 75 inch X90J sells for $1,600, while the X95J sells for $3,000 for the same size TV. That's double the price. That doesn't make any sense. Well, if you must buy a Sony, I will probably go for the X90J. Just keep in mind that there are better options at a much lower price. Now, like I said, Sony has excellent OLED TVs. Their top model is the A90J, which features a heatsink for a much better performance and a brighter panel. Now, I've seen many reviewers praising this TV for its picture performance, and yes, I agree with them, but let's be frank, $3,800 for a 65 inch TV, come on. You're just getting a slightly brighter TV and that's it. In that case, I will go for the A90J, which also looks amazing. And you can get a 77 inch size for $3,000. Yes, that's 12 inches bigger for $800 less. And believe me, 12 inches makes a huge difference. Ask your wife. Or if you can, you can also buy the 65 inch for $2,200. Now, these TVs also have HDMI 2.1 features in two ports, but they are missing BRR and freezing. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of Sony and their prices. Let's just leave it like that. Now let's move on to LG and I'm going to start with their new nanocell TVs, or should I say the QNET mini LED TV which is their newest LED LCD model this year. Now, my first impression is the brightness. It is noticeable brighter than the NanoCell, which is sitting right here on top. Now, I haven't had the chance of testing it out, but picture looks nice. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to test it for you. Now, NanoCell TVs have IPS panels and are known for having good viewing angles and rich colors. They also have HDMI 2.1 features, so they are ready for next-gen consoles, and they also support Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. So overall, these are good TVs, but the only negative is their low contrast ratio and poor black levels. Now, looking at the new QNET, I feel that LG has improved their picture. Now, I don't trust the picture set at stores, but I can clearly see a difference between the mini LED model and the regular NanoCell TV. Colors and brightness look much better. Now, the QNET 90 is available in three sizes, 65, 75, and 86 inches. 
starting at $1,600, $2,200, and $3,000. Now let's move on to the top TVs from LG and that's the LG C1 OLED, also the G1. So I'm going to start with the C1 which is the model that I currently have and let me tell you, it is the best OLED TV you can buy right now. It is excellent for movies, beautiful and colorful picture with the best contrast and deep black levels. It has the best gaming features, all four HDMI ports are 2.1 certified. You can play at 4K 120Hz with HDR or even Dolby Vision with FreeSync Premium, Dolby Atmos at the fastest response time and lowest input lag possible. Now, I mean, there are no gaming restrictions with this TV. This is what I was expecting from Sony, at, especially at those prices. Now that I mentioned prices, this is the best time to buy the C1 OLED. The 48-inch model sells for $1,100. The 55 inch sells $1,300 and the 65 inch sells for $1,800. Now, honestly, you can't go wrong with the LG C1. The only negatives from all the TVs is the low peak brightness. If you compare them with a high end LCD TV, you'll notice they're not as bright. Also, you have to be a little bit more careful because they can have permanent screen burn. Now, this is becoming a rare issue with the newest models because LG has implemented features to prevent screen burn, but the problem's still there, so just be a little bit more careful. I personally would not use it as a PC monitor. There's a lot of static images that can greatly increase the chances of permanent damage, but as a regular TV use, you shouldn't worry about it. All right, guys, so these are my choices for this year 2021, my TV choices that you can actually buy right now. You don't have to wait until Black Friday. You can buy them right now with those special deals. You can either buy them at Best Buy or Amazon and have it delivered to your home. Avoid the crowds and save some money right now. I'm very excited for these new TVs. Let me know in the comments below which one is the one that you are going to buy, which brand, which model. Are you, buying, are you buying one this year? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out!